Guess what guys, it is officially two days away from being one month until Christmas. Is anyone else feeling like this? Like I want all of the decorations up, I want to get a tree, I want to put Santa up at the house, like a big blow up, no, maybe that, that's too far. I love that it has nothing to do with today's video. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a new five first impression on some products that I talked about very briefly at the end of Sunday's video, which was a haul update in case you guys missed that video. I'm sharing some products that worked really well for me and some that did not work so well for me. But today I want to apply some product to my face, test it out, see how it wears. I'll do an update for you guys at the end of the day and let you know how everything is looking. But um, I'm excited. I love these kinds of videos. They're so much fun to film. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoy them and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, now that we're zoomed in and I had to take off the Santa hat because, because I was going to get makeup all over it. You knew it was going to happen. We're going to start with the eyes and I'm going to be testing out the NARS wand palette and I have been so excited to play around with this. I talked about it a little bit on Sunday's video and I swatched one color because I got too excited and I, it was sparkly. They seem to be playing more in the neutral realm. They have a couple of pops of more like cranberry shades in here and a good mixture of mattes as well as some really pretty shimmers. They are glittery though, so we'll see what kind of follow we're working with here. Um, throughout the day, I'll let you guys know, but but we're obviously gonna put some of that on my lid. I feel like I should swatch some of these first, so let's try one of these like matte shades first. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, Nars, you're on plane. Let's try this glittery shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. I don't know if it's gonna show up because, because my skin is so light, but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Then let's try this like matte cranberry shade over here. So the cranberry shade just watched a little bit on the patchy side, I wanna say, but it's also on my hand, which is entirely different than on the eye. So we'll see how that ends up looking, so. Now let's let's get on to putting this on the face. So I started with the lightest shade and I applied that all over the crease just to sort of act as a base. And then I went in with the second lightest brown matte shade and I applied that into the crease a bit and I was having some difficulty blending it. And I don't know if it was the primer I used, I just used the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I was really struggling to get this to blend really well. And so I went in with the next um, darkest shade, which was the, the matte brown, and I applied that a little over top to try and cover up any of the patchiness and make it a little bit easier to blend. So then I went in with the beautiful glittery shade and I ap started applying it to the inner part of my lid. And then I realized that, uh, spoiler, alert, one of the products I'm going to be testing is a glitter eyeshadow. So I started with that in the inner corner and then I used the um, shim more shimmery neutral shade and I applied that all over the rest of the lid. It's not showing up as impactful as I want, but it's not terrible either. So this is where we're at. In terms of a first impression, it's not my favorite palette from NARS. I'm going to continue to play with it. I will try it with a different primer and see if that makes any sort of a difference. So now we're going to go on to liner and I asked you guys on Insta Story um, which liner you guys wanted me to use today and I gave two different options. One is the Rimmel Wonder Wing and then the other one is the Revlon Exactify Wheel Tip um, liner. And so I asked you guys, I don't even know what your responses are yet. Let's find out. And the winner as per your guys's votes would be the Rimmel Wonder Wing. So this is the one we're going to be applying today and seeing how great of a liner it is. So this is a black felt tip liner, but what's cool about it is that it has a flat edge on one side that is wing shaped. So what you're supposed to do is use a tip to draw any sort of a liner and then use the stamp to like stamp on a perfect wing line. And then you have the wing that is even on both sides. So it says first to line along the lash line, so that's what we're gonna do first. I feel like this will be an interesting test because I don't have a ton of space in here for a wing, so I usually do my wing a little bit differently than most people would do. So I'm curious if that is going to make any sort of an impact on how the wing actually looks on my eye. So far the application is very smooth, like it's very creamy. It's not the blackest pen I've ever used, but it's not bad either. I really like how much product is actually in it. Like I don't feel like it's drying out and I've applied both eyes without having to like re-dip and like shake it around a bit. Okay, now it just says to take the outer corner along this end and like stamp it on the outside edge. Okay, hold on, wait, I have to do it, do it this way then. So I have the flat side here and then I'm just gonna stamp it. Boop. All right, it needs to be sharpened a lot. Ta-da! I'm just gonna remove the tape on both sides and see if that changes anything. Stamped. Now we're just gonna connect it. Again, it's just very like stumpy at the end. It's not as like precise and like 
knife-like at the end. Like I still feel like I'm doing all the work of a winged line. Like it didn't really do much except stamp some product there. Now the true test is are they even? And I'ma say no. Also because of the shape of my eye, I feel like they're not as like cut across as I want them to. They're a little bit more loopy, which I'm not a huge fan of. Wow, these are um, aggressive wings that I wasn't planning on wearing today. Like these are full on like dragon wings. And I think it's because of the shape of my eye. I think that for a different eye shape, this may work really well. For mine, it's not a good fit. I think for the pencil itself, I think it's good. It's depositing a lot of product. It's not the blackest liner I've ever used, but it's not like gray and dusty and like difficult to wield and whatever. Like it looks good on my eyes, but now I'm gonna have to like fix it up. So to me, it's no different than any other drugstore black felt tip liner, you know? So I'm gonna go fix up these bad boys, add some mascara and some brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I finished up that, I also added some foundation um, and tried to clean up my uh, wing liner as much as I possibly could, so. Hopefully they're even. So now we're gonna go on to concealer and I'm going to be testing out the new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. It says on the website that it is a matte full coverage concealer. It's going to last 24 hours on the skin. You don't need to layer it. It's just like, boom, right there. Tons of coverage. So there are the two swatches that I have. We have fair, warm, as well as um, light neutral. So I think I'm gonna stick with the light neutral, maybe a tad bit of the fair under my eyes. And it says you only need a bit. So I'm just gonna do like two dots there of the light. Sorry, that's fair. This is light and we're gonna do two more dots underneath the eyes there and I'm going to blend it out with my little concealer brush here. It's such a thick concealer like I feel like I'm just brushing it away and it's not actually going under my eyes and yet there's coverage. Like I don't understand. Put a little dot right here to cover up the zit on my forehead. The texture for me for this is very interesting. I feel like it's closest comparison within like the high-end world would be like a Tarte Shape Tape, which is also a very high coverage, really, really popular concealer. Now with the Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like I put like three dots there and it can cover the entire half of my face. It just blends out over a larger area, I feel like. Like I have to really work to make sure that it's not like dragging down too far, otherwise it's too much coverage on like my cheeks, for example. Versus this, I feel like you put it there and then you blend it out and it provides the coverage just to that one smaller area. So it differs from me on that level. Shape Tape I find is too drying under my eyes unless I mix it in with something like the Farsali um, Rose Gold Elixir. I think th this one for me is my favorite um, as well as the Physician Formula. They have an oil as well that I really love. Um, so I'm curious to see because this is also supposed to be matte if it's going to look really drying underneath my eyes by the end of the day, if it's going to need something like this mixed in to make it a little bit more malleable in that area. Um, but in terms of coverage, I think it's doing a pretty good job. I think I actually prefer blending it out with my fingers. I feel like it responds better to that than to the brush. And this is my favorite brush is the um, ColourPop stippling brush. And I just, I feel like it does a better job with the heat of my hands to blend everything out really smoothly. Girl, my brows are really uneven. I feel like one needs to be a little bit, a little bit thicker to keep up. Also, we just talk about the fact that my ABH totally played me and the entire spoolie just like broke off. Not happy with that. So there is two or three layers on the eyes right now. I think it looks kind of cool. It is very green uh, in terms of undertone, greeny blue, I would say. Not really like holographic, but it's got different dimensions to it. So I don't know, it's pretty. I like that it's kind of subtle, but still really glam. It applied really well. It's not burning my eyes in any way. So we'll see in terms of longevity what we're working with. And the last thing I wanted to test out going along with the whole holographic theme is the new highlights. These are the duo highlights from e.l.f. that are holographic. We have Siren's Call, Mermaid's Tail, and Blue Lagoon. So I wanted to see what these actually look like on the skin. So we'll start with this one. This is Blue Lagoon. It has a mirror in the lid, which is rare for Elf. Elf usually doesn't do mirrors, but cool. We have two different shades here. We have the blue and the green. It feels very creamy for Elf. Like they're not as dusty or they don't have that hard shell like the baked highlighters do. So we'll swatch this on the hand. Okay. All right. Yeah. That that is that is colorful. We, we got that covered. It's got a hint of a sheen to it, but not as much highlightiness as, as I was sort of expecting it to be. I had to check there for a second to make sure it was actually a highlighter. This one here is Mermaid's Tail, so it looks like we have a pink and a purple here. I feel like this purple and this purple are the same. No? 
maybe? The pink one didn't swatch as well as I was expecting, but the purple is really pretty. And then the last one is Siren's Call, which is a mixture of like a, almost like a greeny tone and a coppery orange. Swatch these ones up here. Ooh, that sort of greeny tone was actually really pretty. Like I put it over my knuckles, which makes it a little bit difficult to see, but like the color is really interesting, more of a, a goldy tone. So I think I wanna play around with um, Blue Lagoon to sort of play off some of the tones in the eyeliner. So we'll start with this purple shade here. It's weird, I can see it more on camera than in person. Put some green on top. So you can see it on the skin there. It is definitely more highlighty on the face than it is on my hand, which is good, but I can still see sort of those purple tones coming through, which is kind of cool. The nice thing about these actually is that you don't have to like be really gentle when you're like tapping your brush into it. You can, you know, build it up to your level of color, you know? I think I'm gonna pop a little bit of the purple in the inner corner as well. I love when highlights sort of, if you're gonna do a color highlight, they sort of pick up that color on the inner corner as well. Now I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of a gloss. This is by MAC, this is their lip gloss in the shade Nude. And here's the final look that I came up with. So I wanna sit down and chat with you guys really quickly about the products that I use. I will do an update for you guys at the end of the day, but before I do that, I just wanna quickly kind of go over everything. So we'll start with the um, concealers. I think these are really good so far. They're not creasing in any way. They seem to apply really nicely and smoothly. They definitely have more of a matte finish finish. So if you don't like a matte finish, then you're probably not going to like these. So we'll see what these look like at the end of the day. I'm going on to the highlights next. Honestly, I'm really surprised. I actually am really enjoying this whole like purpley highlight. The color is just really flattering. I like it. It has that still like lilac-y undertone, but it's not too over the top. I can build it up. It gives a nice glow. I like it. Hopefully it is still there when I do my update. For the glitter liner, hold tight. I will peel it off and show you guys what that whole process was like. Um, in terms of how it applied, it applied smoothly. It did have a lot of glitter in it. It did not burn my eyes in any way, which I noticed sometimes with some glitter liners, they do do that for me. I will say that I do feel it on my eyes, not in a bad way, it just feels like there's something there that's like locked in there, which kind of makes sense. Like if you want something that's gonna peel off, you kind of want it to lock together and almost feel plasticky. Um, so I do feel it there just as a heads up. Now onto the Wonder Wing liner. I don't think this is a bad liner. It's not my blackest liner that I have, but it is good standard like felt tip liner. But I think the whole aspect of the like stamping on the wing thing didn't really work for my eye shape. I found that the end was a little too stumpy and I had to like wing it out anyway. You have to connect it and then and because of my eye shape, it just, they weren't even. I don't know, like, maybe it works for other people. For me, not so much. And lastly, for the NARS eyeshadow palette, I'm sort of on the fence. I'm going to continue to play around with it. The mattes were a little difficult for me to blend out and they went on a little bit on the patchy side for me. Um, I'm gonna try it with a different primer. Maybe it's just the combination of these two just did not work for my eyes um, because the colors are so gorgeous. And I really wanna put like, hold on. The package, by the way, is also a little bit on the difficult side to open. FYI, I wanna put this one on my lid with like a glitter primer, ASAP, it's so beautiful. So that is everything. I'm gonna go about my day and I will check in with you guys in a bit. So now it is the end of the day, so I wanna share with you guys what my makeup looks like and my thoughts on everything, how everything is worn, and also rip this glitter stuff off. So starting with the highlight, I still see it on my skin. It looked really pretty all day. I will say it is starting to fade though. I don't see it as prominently anymore. I'm starting to see a little less of that purple, lavender shade. Um, as an undertone and it seems to have disappeared from the inner corner of my eye But I mean that's also because you know like I scratched my eye and it's like entirely off The liner is looking pretty good, but I've noticed it's starting to smudge just in this outer corner So I'm kind of curious like after I talk about all this I'm gonna like rub my face a little bit since it says it's like waterproof smudge proof like etc etc so We'll see if that's actually the case in terms of the eyeshadow. I can still see it. It is still looking good though again Matt's patchy. That sounds like I'm introducing two dogs. Matt, patchy, patchy, Matt. But the glitter and the shimmer is still going strong. It has not moved, so excited about that. I think maybe it's just the, the a primer. It must be just the primer. For the concealer, it is still there. That is good. It is holding up a little bit on the dry side for me. It is, after all, a matte concealer. And for me, the light neutral is just a little bit too dark. I would say I'm gonna combine more of that fair, warm shade in next time underneath the eyes. That'll just look a lot better for me. But in terms of the coverage, how it applied, how it wore throughout the day and everything. I think this was a really good concealer, but if you do deal with any sort of dryness under the eyes, you're definitely gonna need to apply something like this first because it is going to get way too dry. And then for the glitter liner, I have to say, honestly, it has not budged 
off of that line at all. Like it has stayed put, it is nice and glimmery and sparkly, and it hasn't moved. It has not moved from that area. So I'm excited about that. I wanna, like, I'm gonna wear this again because it is like Christmas season and I wanna be as sparkly as possible. So fingers crossed that this actually peels off as well as it stays put all day, because that would be awesome. All right, so now let's try and actually like removing this stuff. I don't. How do you do this? Okay, it's coming off in like little chunks. I was kind of hoping for like a big dramatic peel off, kind of like a false lash. Was that just me? Was I the only one that was expecting that? Also, let's see. Oh, wow. So that is super smudgy. Super smudgy eyeliner. So safe to say, this is not smudge proof. Okay, continuing on. Oh, there we go. That was a little bit more. I gotta say, this is actually quite stress relieving. I gotta say, it feels really good to be removing these. It feels kind of like those like blackhead masks, you know, when you peel it off and you're like, this wasn't my skin. So yeah, no, I'm really enjoying this. A++, we'll use again. I'm gonna go wash my face and eat some cookies. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like five first impressions and let me know down below what your favorite product here that I tried out today was. And if you have any requests, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah. Now, for those of you that are here at the literal end of the video, first of all, I, I hope you liked it. The first off. And secondly, I want to let you know a sneak peek on Saturday's video. It's going to be all like 25 things that you may not have known about me. So that'll be on my Racial of Life channel. So go and check that one out and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So, mwah.